I'm Les, adult programming librarian at Jessamine County Public Library, coming to you live from my front yard because today we're going to learn how to weave a rug on a hula hoop. Let's get started. For this project, you're going to need a, a cheap hula hoop. You can also make a hula hoop out of some irrigation tube if you want to make a really giant hula hoop and some kind of really fat yarn. T-shirt yarn, like the yarn we made in earlier episodes, will work perfectly. I found this yarn that I'm going to use to make my base. And a pair of scissors, so it's handy. So the first thing you want to do is just tie the yarn anywhere on the hula hoop. Tie it tight. And go straight across to the other side and wrap it around. Then you're going to pull it back and you're going to go just about an inch. You can see just about an inch away from your first and across the center go down to the bottom and go about an inch away from that secondary part. And you're going to keep going back and forth like this. Try not to pull too tight or you'll distort your hula hoop. If you have a slippery hula hoop like mine, it helps to take a piece of tape each time you wrap your warp thread and hold it down in place so that your intervals stay the same distance apart. When you come to your last section right where you left off, go ahead and tie your knot again so that what you end up with is something that looks pretty much like a wagon wheel made of yarn and your hula hoop. Now we're going to take this center area and we're going to tie some yarn around it so that all of these uh, triangles look like they're coming in same angle and are pretty tight together. So start anywhere with a short piece of yarn bring it up through all of the pieces, tie it, there we go, wrap it around, tie it again, just do that till it looks tidy. And then if your yarn didn't just snap like mine, you can cut it off there. But you should have a pretty clear center portion and you should be able to identify each little triangle pretty well. And now we're going to start weaving. You can pick anywhere you want to start. I'm going to tie mine around two pieces. And I'm just going to start going over two and under two. And you can take your hand and push those in toward the center. If you need to get a chopstick or a, a stick of some sort to, to push them down tighter, you can. A uh, a pick, a hair pick works well for that too. All right, so now if you've done it well, you should end up the opposite of where you started. So that you'll be going under the first piece that you went over. And then we're gonna just continue going around and pushing those in towards the center. As you keep going around, you'll want to occasionally flip your project and make sure that it looks basically the same on the front and the back. Each time you get to the end of your yarn, just tie another short piece on and keep going. Some tips include, don't worry if your pattern gets off. You can go ahead and try to correct it and uh, work with it in the piece don't take it all apart and start over. It'll, it'll just frustrate you and honestly you won't notice it that much in the end. Um, 
the fewer spokes you have on your wheel, the easier it is to maintain your pattern and to see what you're doing. So we're going to continue this all the way around till we get to the end with this simple weave. If you want to do more complicated weaves, there are several sites online that will teach you how to do those. Um, you can always change up colors anytime you're going around, and you can use different types of material to make your piece more interesting. So as you can see, I have woven almost to the edge of my hula hoop. I've left some space because of the way that I'm going to take mine off. Now you can weave all the way up to the edge and this manner that I'm going to take my piece off will still work. You can also weave all the way up to the edge and if you've done something especially interesting or beautiful to look at, you might want to just turn it into a wall hanging, in which case you could just wrap thread around the exposed hula hoop area and turn it into um, you know, just something that you hang up as a piece of art. But I am going to make mine into the top of a pet bed. So I'm going to remove my piece from the hula hoop. Of course, the first thing I have to do is pull the tape off. Then, on each individual section, I will cut the loop that holds it on and tie the two ends together, like so. Then I'm going to weave these loose ends back into the piece. Now, if you find that your ends are a little short and they don't weave in very well, there's another thing you can do. You can turn all these ends into fringe. Tie that and just leave it hang out the end. Then you can add in extra fringe, looping more yarn around the ends. And I think I kind of like that effect. So that might be how I uh, do my piece. You're going to want to make sure when you tie your pieces off that you're enclosing this last loop that goes around the edge. Here's our cat approved finished piece. Kitan, how do you feel about it? She likes it a lot. Thanks for crafting with us. Check out the Jessamine County Public Library YouTube page and we'll see you next time.